hi guys welcome to our channel today we're going to review a very useful product especially if you're into vlogging so this is from the company dji osmo mobile 6 this is a smartphone stabilizer with a lot of features which are mentioned at the back of the pack so this has a three axis stabilization it has a quick launch it's portable foldable it has an active track 5.0 feature easy tutorials and one tap editing and it also has a built-in extension rod with it so let's quickly open this the cost is around 550 to 600 dirhams which is equivalent to 160 to 165 dollars right let's quickly open this product up Right, unfold the creativity. I like the tagline. Right, so this is how this product comes in. It's pretty well packaged. I really like the packing. If you look at it from inside, the parts are actually separate and you'll have to assemble them to be able to use them. So as mentioned uh, in the box, this comes with its own pouch let's see what this is yes so this is the pouch it's, it's like a storage uh, pouch which where you could store your osmo product it also comes with its own cable so this is the cable okay right so what are the products inside let's see So to understand this product better, it also comes with its manual. It has a quick start guide, which would basically show you the instructions step by step on how to um, use the tripod, how to assemble it, what are the buttons for, how do you use the cable and everything. So everything's on this uh, manual. First of all, we have the Osmo 6 stabilizer itself. So let's quickly open this. I like the packaging it's pretty well maintained so that it's uh, doesn't get damaged in any way so here is the stabilizer itself with all the buttons we'll show you how these work in a bit let's just see all the parts first then we have the grip tripod right. this is how it looks like we're gonna use this in a bit as well then we also have the magnetic phone clamp this is what the phone clamp looks like okay so these are the three things that it comes with along with the pouch cable and a manual all right so let's start with the osmo mobile 6 this is the panel um, how do we open this so you pull the side comes right at the top and once it's on it should show you a charging unit which tells you the status of the battery and there is a red blinking light I'll tell you in a minute why that is blinking so, right so let's take the tripod uh, grip and let's open this up and adjust it at the bottom right like so close this tighten it up so that this stands on the table next up let's use the magnetic clamp this is what will hold your phone make sure this is placed in properly so that we can adjust our phones so this is magnetic once you fix it it's going to go right in right so our stand is ready and our phone is now 
good to be plugged in so make sure the cover is off for your phone so that uh, the clamp can sit properly on it and make sure there's no magnetic field around it so if you look at the uh, safety guidelines there are a lot of things mentioned here I would suggest you go through it there are a lot of things that you should be careful because there are a lot of magnetic parts around this product um, have a look at it and make sure you are aware so we're going to take our phone and place it right onto our clamp right once you put it it's gonna hang for some time but um, let's adjust this all right so when you have your phone into the clamp you're gonna press the power button again to it will automatically adjust your phone like this you press this button right so it's fixed uh, your rotation it automatically fixes the orientation of your phone and let's check what other features do we have available with this particular product so if you look at this button um, if you press on it there are going to be multiple modes that you can play around with depending on what you want to do at a very moment let's start off with all right so i have my phone camera on so this is open to the back camera this is the joystick control through which you can control the movement of your um, stabilizer so if you play with it it can move up and down using the joystick it can also move right and left depending on what you want to do with your um, orientation so this is a very cool feature this is a very easy user-friendly feature that you can play around with especially when you're traveling when you're moving around it um, usually has that shaky uh, video when you're when you're trying to record a video while you're moving but once you have this in this should be a very handy feature while you're vlogging okay so let's uh, explore some of the modes that we have available in terms of rotation of the gimbal let's start with the first mode if you look at it this is a three axis rotation so if I want to move around in three axis, this is what the uh, product is going to do. Pretty cool feature, it can move around in three axis. This is pretty handy when it comes to vlogging, especially when you're taking uh, cinematic views of your videos. This is a very good option to do that. Second, we have, let's go back to original mode. Second, we have, so you keep pressing the power button, the M uh, where it shows the M icon. Then it has the two dimensional uh, rotation where it will move up and down only, left and right. So this is the uh, rotational feature in this mode. Then we have, then we have this another mode. Uh, these are all modes for setting up different directions for your gimbal. The last mode is for you to switch between the front camera and the back camera. This, at the moment, I'm now facing the back camera. So if I want to show you the front camera, there's this rotational button that you can press and it's going to show you the uh, front camera, right? This is what the front camera will do. You press it again, it goes back to your front, your back camera. Right, so in order to take a picture, uh, at the moment, I am on my photo mode on my phone, or even if I was on the video mode, you click on this um, button, which has a red dot in the middle. So once you click on it, it takes a picture. Now, before, um, I think I forgot to tell you how did my phone access the gimbal. So this is a, there's a Bluetooth feature, which obviously you just need to connect your gimbal to your phone through Bluetooth, and it's gonna access your camera features. You can also switch between photo and video mode. So if I want to record a video, do the same thing. Play, uh, press the button and it's going to record the video. You can move up and down, do your directionals as and when you like. This is what the, um, this is what the joystick is doing at the moment. If you see, I'm controlling it through the joystick. And when you want to stop your video, just press this button again and it's going to stop. Next, uh, we also have a zoom in and a zoom out feature. So if you look at this, but, um, this scrolling feature, I can scroll it up and down. If I scroll it down, it will zoom 
out and if I scroll it upward it's gonna zoom in to my camera so this is all being done because my phone is connected through Bluetooth uh, with my gimbal Moving on to the next feature, let's look at the selfie stick mode, which uh, the gimbal also comes with. So we gotta close this uh, stand for now, and you hold the cell, you hold the gimbal from here. You pull this upwards, and it's going to extend to whatever length you want it to be. So for now, let's extend it to this end. So if um, you want to detach this. So this is the selfie stick mode. Um, if you look at my camera, I'm going to move it around and up and down. If you see, it's going to still keep my phone pretty stable, even if I'm moving around the selfie stick. Now, we, as we all know, the purpose of the selfie stick is when you're moving around, when you're walking, when you're vlogging. This is the entire purpose of the selfie stick. So this, if you look at the stability, it's pretty good. It goes up and down um, and the video is going to be really stable uh, when, when you're recording it. You can also detach this feature if you if you want to make it a little less in length and you can hold it from this end. I think this is going to be much more efficient in terms of handling the gimbal. Um, you can extend it to even more if you want, uh, depending on what length you want. So this is what the selfie stick looks like. But you can also control it obviously through the joystick. The same features still apply. All the features are still available for you. Um, you can take a picture. Let's take a picture from here. Let's shake it around a little bit and keep this in place. I'm going to press the selfie button. I'm going to press the... Right, it's taking a video, so let's take a video for now. Um, move it around a little bit. Let's look at the stability. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to stop the video. close the selfie stick you pull it downwards towards yourself and this is the um, this is back to its normal mode all right just to recap some of the features of this um, gimbal we have the mode button this M button you can keep changing the modes uh, to whatever direction you want to move the gimbal to then we have this uh, picture button where you can click and take a picture. And in the end, you also have this joystick just to move around uh, your gimbal to multiple directions in three dimensions, two dimensions, whichever way you like. You have the extension for the selfie stick. And lastly, you have the, um, you need to go to the front and the back mode feature first in order to um, switch between the front camera and the back camera. There's one more feature that I forgot to mention. If you look at uh, the back of this uh, mode, there is a button that you can press. This is also a stability feature. So I'm going to just quickly show you what it does. For example, um, if you look at this, my currently my, uh, if I'm going to shake uh, the gimbal, it's going to rotated in all the three axes right but if i am going to keep that button at the back pressed it's going to keep one um, axis in place and just move the other parts of the gimbal see right if i release the button it's going to again go back to its three-dimensional uh, rotation So this was a quick review of our DJI Ospo Mobile 6. Uh, just um, some last things. There is a power cable, a charging cable, which you can attach to over, you can attach over here. It has the um, storage pouch, uh, very handy. You can keep um, all the three components here and you can quickly carry it anywhere you want. It's pretty portable. Thank you so much for watching our review. Do like and subscribe to our channel if you did like our video. Uh, that would really help our channel. Thank you so much, everyone.